Good morning, you guys. Welcome back for another vlog. If you're new here, my name's Ruby. This is my lifestyle channel. I live here in New York City. Subscribe, it would mean the world to me. We are seriously getting so close to 7,000. Also, be sure to go follow me on TikTok. We're about to hit 20,000 over there, which is truly insane. So it is a Thursday. It is currently 9.59, so almost 10 o'clock. I gotta be honest, I kind of feel like I don't know, a little out of sorts for some reason. I just feel like for these last few days, I've been like getting plenty of sleep, but I still am just like so tired and I can't get out of it. Um, and a part of me is feeling like that's because I just haven't been eating like the cleanest the last few days and that really does affect my energy and just like how I feel overall. So we're gonna fix that today. Um, also, very strange, but I think I might have like strained my thumb yesterday, either from like all the computer work that I was doing or maybe it was at the gym I don't know but anytime I bend my left thumb or move it it really hurts so I'm gonna be mindful and try not to do anything with that today I'm currently in this workout set from Amazon I will link it down below um, it's one of my favorites but I'm actually gonna wear this underneath my outfit today because I'm gonna work out later today um, and I just want to wear black leggings with my outfit anyways so why not so like I said we're just gonna kind of be extra mindful today and make sure that I'm kind of getting back on track which is like eating cleaner and that's not to say that like I don't eat in like a balanced way because I definitely do but these last few days I feel like I've just been a little bit too lenient and it really does just like mess with my energy levels and I also feel like I've been dealing with really bad seasonal allergies recently which can definitely make me drowsy but anyways I'm gonna get started with my morning with some Milani New Super Greens, you guys know I've been taking this recently and I actually really do like it. I feel like it gives a natural burst of energy. It helps me get my greens in because on busy days like today, it's not always possible. The best way to enjoy this, in my opinion, is with freezing cold water. So I make sure that there's a lot of ice in my glass or cup or whatever I'm using. I just do a full scoop of that and then I mix it in. This is the best tasting greens powder that I have ever used. Definitely recommend it. It's not cheap, but I really love it. Cheers, drink up. It's a very dark green color. It looks a little funky, but honestly, it tastes really good and it's very refreshing. But yeah, I'm gonna take a few minutes to drink that. I try and drink it kind of like all at once just to like really get the nutrients in. And I feel like this is a drink that you don't really wanna be like sipping on anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drink this and then we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna tell you guys my day because it's actually very exciting and I need to like get a little bit more awake. While I drink this, I'm also gonna let my vlog camera charge because I just looked and we are almost out of battery, which would suck to start a vlog and then have to like immediately switch it to iPhone. Ignore my hair, it is clearly not done yet. I'm actually on like day three hair, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe put some dry hairspray in it or dry shampoo and then do like a claw clip something. But anyways, the makeup is done. I actually really like my makeup today, but I actually adjusted makeup from like the nose up because I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day. I have a little bit of tinted moisturizer on the lower half of my face. And I did do some bronzer to just warm up the skin and not look so like flat. But everything up here is like fully done. And I actually really like the eyeshadow that I did today. This is what I used today and I've been obsessed with it. It's the Nude Light Palette from Huda Beauty. The colors are just so gorgeous and bright for the spring. Um, but they're still like super wearable. You know one of those days where you just feel really cute? Like I'm having one of those days and I feel like it's been a while because I don't always have a reason to like feel like this and get ready for like an actual event not just like staying here to film but i'm about to leave and i wanted to one show you guys the final look but also tell you like what we're doing i finally jumped on the bandwagon literally for the first time ever did a little slicked back bun moment it's not perfect i have never claimed to be an expert at hair also i feel like this does look better with a middle part but i don't have a middle part mine definitely goes to the left as you can tell so i just stuck with what my hair kind of wants to naturally do and where it wants to part but i still think it's really cute the bun is like not perfect like if you look in the back we're, we're working with you know like not a hair pro like i said but i feel really cute and i feel just like chic so quick little outfit of the day i guess um my rings this one's from brandy this one's from Tori Birch. You guys know the drill. These like rose gold hoops I actually got from a random boutique in Soho. So I can't link them down below. If I find dupes, I will definitely link them. This necklace is from Ana Luisa. It's literally one of my like favorite 
jewelry pieces. This hoodie is from Lululemon. And then I'm wearing my oversized kind of like wool trench from Zara. Then I'm just wearing some plain black leggings. And then for shoes, I don't know. I wanted to do like a pop of color because it's actually beautiful outside today. So I'm wearing my like white and I don't know what you would call this, like cherry red. They're um, Nikes, but they're Air Jordans that I got from Nordstrom. You guys know, I'm like not a sneakerhead at all, but I thought that these were so cool and I really wanted to get my hands on them. And then for my bag, I'm just gonna be using my Coach Soft Tabby. I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to take the crossbody strap off and just use the shoulder strap, but I think for like convenience sake, it's gonna be good to have the crossbody today. So yeah, I don't know, I really like it. It's a very neutral outfit, but the shoes give it a pop. And then you also have like the pattern of the bag. I was kind of debating on whether or not I wanted to just change into plain white sneakers. Like I have my platform, like high top Converse, but I like the red. I don't know, I feel like it's cute and unexpected. So as far as where I'm going today, I actually have two influencer events that I am going to. The first one is actually at the Allure store, which I've been to for a different influencer event. Um, and this one is with a skincare brand that I've actually never heard of, but I checked out their website and their products are like very much speaking to me. So I'll definitely be sure to show you guys that. I think they're also sending me like a really nice PR package next week too. So I was like, if I'm available, I definitely wanna like show my support, go to the event today. So that one I was like actually invited to and that's like a private event. Um, which I still cannot believe that I'm <laughs> invited to stuff like this. But then I saw that Revlon is actually doing a like coffee truck in Soho to promote their new concealer with caffeine. And I just randomly saw it on their website and their truck today is gonna be really close to the Allure store. So I was like, you know what, we can like do that, add on an extra little adventure. But yeah, actually you have to get going in a few minutes. So I'm gonna very quickly like pack up the rest of my stuff and then we will head on to the train. It's a beautiful day outside. It's like in the low 50s. So I actually feel like I'm gonna be walking around so much. I don't wanna wear my big winter coat, which is why I layered up this this hoodie is so hot like it can get really really warm and then this coat definitely is warm too so I feel like I should be good with this I ran out and took the coat on a walk this morning and I was like yeah I don't really think I need a winter coat today anyways let's go I feel so cute the wind is a little wild so if it's picking up in the mic I'm really sorry uh, but we made it downtown I love coming downtown like a part of me wishes that I lived down here, but the thing is the majority of my life is just not here. And as far as transportation and like what, what trains are closest, it's not always the most convenient. And that's the thing, right? Like if you're paying to live in New York City, I feel like you should pay for the convenience. So like if the majority of your life happens down here, then, you know, move downtown. If it doesn't, like it's just something to think about. I guess I can actually take off my mask until I get to the store and then I'm putting it on. I don't know if masks are required, but I wear masks everywhere regardless. I do love it down here though. Like there's so many great restaurants and places for brunch and obviously like the shopping is just so good too. Speaking of which, if I have time, I totally forgot that um, Little Words Project has a store down here and I haven't been yet so if I have time I really would like to stop by. I'm a huge supporter of the brand. I'm actually wearing bracelets from them today. I wear them like almost every day. I'm gonna continue on our little walk. It's a gorgeous day outside minus the wind and then the Allure store is like three minutes away. The event was with Yonka Paris, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But like I said, they're sending me some products and asked if they could send me a really big PR package. So I wanted to make sure to go to the event, learn more about the products. It was so much fun. I didn't stay for long just because a lot of people weren't wearing their masks and like it wasn't mandated, but I just felt like, you know, I didn't need to stay for like too, too long. I kept my mask on the entire time. But now I'm actually walking through Soho and we're going to go closer to like West 4th Street for the Revlon um, like coffee truck that's happening. And then from there, it's only like a four minute walk to the Little Words Project store, so that'll be really fun. So I'm actually gonna skip 
the Revlon um, like coffee truck which is totally okay. I'm just running a little bit, like not behind schedule, but I wanna be home relatively soon. The next time I do one of these like tighter slicked back buns, I definitely wanna buy a couple bobby pins for my curtain bangs because only when the wind blows are they like really coming out. Um, but I don't wanna use hair gel because that's pretty damaging for your hair. So I think bobby pins is the way to go next time. I still wanna stop by though the Little Words Project store which is what we're doing. I also stopped by this really cute place called like the Little Market, NYC Little Market. They had the cutest little jewelry store in there and so I got some great new pieces that are all like nickel free, hypoallergenic, really, really good quality like gold pieces but definitely didn't break the bank. I mean obviously like they're gold plated but they're still really like gentle on the skin which is great. So I'm gonna continue my walk. I have like 10 more minutes. And then we'll get to the store. And then I'm gonna go home. Eventually, Dakota will need lunch. I gave her breakfast kind of late because I figured I wouldn't be home for her normal lunch time. But girls gotta eat, you know? Normally, you guys know, Kevin is like my adventure day buddy. He comes along with me, but since it's a Thursday, he's working. However, I'm really enjoying this day to myself. Like, I feel cute. I like my hair, like my outfit, like my makeup. It's a good day. <laughs> Just got home and I picked up some avocado toast on the way um, with an egg on top too. Just a nice little kind of like lunch but on the smaller side because I think we're making a big Hello Fresh dinner tonight. I feel much better now that I have some food in me. Kevin's on his way home because he's working from home for the rest of the day. Once I film this next little section, I'm then gonna go ahead and take off my makeup because I don't really have anything going on for the rest of the day that requires me to keep it on. So better to just let my skin breathe, I guess. But I wanted to show you guys the jewelry that I ended up picking up today. Did I spend a little bit more money than I intended to? Yes, but you know what? It's okay to have one of those days every once in a while. And these are pieces that I truly am going to just like love and wear all the time. I haven't really had a desire to like buy clothes recently. So I'm riding that wave. And honestly, I really don't need anything. But I've noticed for me, what keeps my wardrobe feeling fresh are the accessories and the jewelry. And so when I came across these pieces today, I was like, you know what? These are all coming home with me. So yeah, I'm gonna do just like a quick little haul. I'm gonna show you guys everything laid out on the table. Please ignore my nails. I'm waiting until Valentine's Day to get them redone or the day before Valentine's Day. So they're a little chipped and looking crazy right now. The first place that I went though is this place called Kiki Chic. They were actually inside the little market nyc yeah here's the card for that i know that they have a website and an instagram i would definitely recommend checking them out but i knew that i would love this brand as soon as i saw it because it says minimalist luxury designs so great basic pieces that are great for layering or wearing on their own and they had so many gold options which we love so up first i got this necklace and i love the little clasp design because it has like these teeny tiny little diamonds obviously they're fake but it definitely gives it like a little bit of extra something i got two chain bracelets which i am so excited for you guys know my wrists are really small so it's very rare that i find like a chain bracelet like this that actually fits i bought these two to either layer together or like wear on their own or one on each wrist they're just so cute obviously everything that I got is gold um, but this one has these two little handcuffs and then this one has like a ton of paper clips obviously not real paper clips but on the ends it has like little diamond detailing and I am just so excited for these um, I got three pairs of earrings honestly you guys this store made me want to get more piercings just so that I can have like as many of these gorgeous earrings in my ear as possible. So this pair right here um, is almost like little huggies at the top with like little diamonds and then snakes. I think these are really cool. I love these as well. They're super edgy. They kind of have these like spikier like studs to them. And then the third pair that I got, I had been looking for literally these exact earrings for almost over a year now. And I feel like I've seen free people do them, but they didn't get very good reviews. I also saw like a ton of fine jewelers make earrings like this, but obviously those were hundreds if not thousands of dollars versus I think each of these pairs were like 35, which is so much more reasonable and they're still good for sensitive ears. But anyways, this third pair 
um, slightly larger Huggies and then they have this like double chain detailing. I don't know, I think they're gorgeous. I'm like so excited to wear all of these. The last place that I went though was Little Words Project, which first of all, they win the award for literally the cutest store. I don't know if my videos did it justice at all, but I was just so impressed. And you guys know, I wear my Little Words bracelets like almost every single day. And so I wanted quite a few more to kind of just add to the stack and I got a lot. <laughs> when it comes to Little Words Project bracelets, I typically, for my personal style, don't love the ones with the white words, but I feel like the gold beads kind of dress it up a little bit. Typically, I like the ones with the gold words, like what I'm wearing today, and I got quite a few of those today as well. But yeah, this one right here says breathe. This one says NYC, and it has a little taxi cab on it. I thought, how could I not? And then this one says balance, because I feel like during 2022, this is something that I'm just trying to be more mindful of. Okay, and then I got all of these, which are like the more colorful beads, but the gold words. How freaking cute is this one? This one says dog mom. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I was like, I have to. Little Dakota is such a big part of my life. This one, just in time for Valentine's Day. Just kidding. But this one says love, which obviously we all need more love. This one says grateful. I always try and lead my day with gratitude, but I like having that physical reminder. And then this one says strength. Again, a very important one to me. I feel like it's important to remember how resilient and strong we are as people. That's all I got. I say that's all like it wasn't a lot don't get me wrong it definitely was but i'm so excited i can't wait to wear those bracelets and also the new earrings i'm going to actually take off my jewelry now take off my makeup because eventually i am going to ride my peloton i want to wait until kevin gets home and let my food digest a little bit more but yeah then i am going to probably take a 45 to 60 minute ride depending on um what class I see first. I'm gonna talk to you guys while I do my skincare um, because it's been a hot second since I've checked in and I wanna wrap up this vlog soon because I was kind of in like the work, like, I don't know, when you're just like on a roll and everything else kind of like goes away and then suddenly you're like, oh shoot, it's really late, I have to go to bed, especially because I work at Solid Core tomorrow morning. Peloton class was great though. Um, I took one of Cody's classes, obviously I feel like his just always put me in the best mood. And I will say, while it doesn't look good anymore, the bun, the bun stayed. I literally haven't like touched it all day, which is crazy. And again, I would just like to say, I didn't use any hair gel or anything either. So that's like double impressive. I don't want to skip out on doing a face mask because even when it's late, I believe in consistency and taking care of my skin, so. That's what we're gonna do. I'm using the Glow Recipe, uh, like clay pore mask. It's one of my favorites. You guys know I'm like the face mask queen. I try and do one basically almost every single night. And I used to be somebody who would go and like go back and forth between like eight different face masks. Now I think I have the three that like really work for me and that's what I stick to. And this is just one of those masks that it's gentle but it's effective, at least for me and my skin. Obviously, everybody's skin is different. I think while we let this sit, I am actually gonna take the bun out finally. Oh, it feels good. This might not be very interesting to some of you guys, but um, I figured I'd talk about it anyways, because I know that quite a few of you on here do enjoy when I talk about just like kind of behind the scenes of being a content creator, a micro-influencer. So for those who don't know, I talk about it here and there. Um, as far as affiliate marketing, I typically use magic links to generate all the links for like products that I've been loving, but they don't have an option to create like a post featuring products from a TikTok. Like they have options to do that on Instagram and YouTube, but they don't have a TikTok option. So I spent a really good chunk of tonight creating my new like to know it page just for products that I feature in TikTok videos. Cause a lot of you guys on my TikTok are like, hey, like, can you link this? Can you link that? And for the longest time I just wasn't, which was also not very smart of me either. Cause then I was missing out on like a whole nother potential stream of income like underneath the affiliate marketing umbrella yeah i did that for a few hours um it just took a really long time to set up i feel like it's just not as easy as magic links i'm happy now that i know it's done and i feel comfortable and confident 
in like posting on it, but that setup was a lot. But we figured it out, we managed, we're good now. Okay, you guys, wow, my hair looks so dirty because it was in a bun today, then I was sweating when I was working out. It's fine, we're fine. Anyways though, I'm gonna end off tonight's vlog. I just finished up my skincare routine, made sure that all my work was kind of at a good stopping point for the night. Tomorrow I'm gonna go back on my Like to Know It, add more. Um, and I think I'll probably start linking my Like to Know It in the description box of my YouTube videos as well, just in case you guys are interested in products that like I'm talking about or mentioning on TikTok. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button if you haven't already, follow me on all the things, all the places. The links are always in the description box down below. I feel like I said that really weird. I like tripped on my word. I meant to say description box down below. But until my next video, I love you guys so much. I hope you're staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.